A big question we're often asked is this issue of sweeteners or glucose or carbohydrates in the root zone. Um, can't those help? Um, so first of all, sweeteners means generally, switch to a color here. Um, sweeteners generally means all types of sugars and glucose is one of those types of sugars. There's glucose, there's fructose, there's sucrose. Sucrose is tables of sugar. Um, these are all sugars that we can add to the root zone. When we add these to the root zone, the microbes go wild. They, they eat them so fast, it's like feeding them, I don't know, kids' breakfast cereal. They just eat them like crazy. So they none of these last long in the root zone. The microbes just oxidize them to CO2, and they're gone. And you think, well, isn't that good to feed the microbes? No, they can have too many microbes. Those microbes consume oxygen in the root zone, and that's detrimental to the plants. So the, even though plants could potentially absorb these, it's much better to have the plants make sucrose and photosynthesis than to try and feed it in the root zone. And mostly, they never get it anyway. The microbes just eat it and oxidize it right away. Carbohydrates are a little bit different. They're more complex. Cellulose is a good example of this. Microbes have a much harder breaking time breaking down carbohydrates. And you could say that's just organic matter. Wouldn't it help to have organic matter in the soil? Yes, it does if it's a field soil, because it helps the soil stay f spongy and keeps it um, fluffed up, helps it absorb water. But field soil is fine rocks, sand, silt, clay, and some organic matter. In a media that's well aerated, adding carbohydrates, it, in, in our experience and the literature experience, does nothing to help um, promote the root zone. Particularly when you're giving the plants fertilizers in the form they need that are water soluble. There's no extra work that the microbes need to do to make the nutrients bioavailable. They're already bioavailable in the fertilizer.